trying to get in behind the east of the defence, but can't get the ball right so far. Quigley on the left hand side, one or two boos for him from the home support. He wasn't uh, the most well loved, it's fair to say, but he did have some pretty good moments in a down shirt. The two goals away at Carlisle United in particular obviously stand out very early in his loan spell. It was a shame that as well, because when he did notch them two goals, we thought we had a, a real striker on our hands, but didn't we just? after that it was uh, it was an injury hit and uh, yeah, quite an isolated striker at times. Now Gilmore. Out to the right hand side with Keehan, who's pushed forward in his vision through the legs of Ryan Stamping. Looks to pull it back now to Gilmore again, just outside the 18 yard box to East. East will go for goal, gets the shot off, forced to save McDonald. Keehan pulls it back to goal. The man you want in that position at the back post, some mark. Gets another goal to add his Rochdale collection. Still ahead inside 10 minutes. Rochdale 1, EC nil. And it's another goal for Ian Henderson, his second of the season. There's going to be many more this season, I would hope. There's a few easily calls for offside in there against Henderson. Carter's just going over there, Maguire as well, just to have a word with the linesman, but... It was a really good effort on the edge of the box initially from Ryan East on his left foot. It's a decent save for the keeper, didn't really push it away to danger. Kiahan sliding in, I'm not sure if he's going for goal or actually trying to find Henderson. Maybe I'm doing him a bit of discredit. But played it across the box and there was Henderson. And he scored many a goals like that in his career. And puts Dale up inside 10 minutes, 1-0. Tyro Mitchell, he's yet to have what you call a really successful season. So he had a good spell in a... Long spot easy that season, but he's one doing other sides around the, the league, uh, picking up what you class as proven goal scorers or players that were well into double figures last season. He's Clayton now for Dale to Ryan East. And little movement, but little closing down from Eastley either. East into the feet of Mitchell. Mitchell turns. To work some space, later up to Clayton. Clayton can go out wide with the right hand side to Jimmy Keahan. Keahan to Clayton. Clayton into Gilmore. Tries to get it under control and then takes a spectacular shot off, not too far wide in the end. Just tries to wrap his foot around there and find that low bottom corner to McDonald's right hand side. Well, get us restarted then. East. Goes back to Cameron John. John will go after that left hand side to find Harry Sinclair. Sinclair skips away from Scott Quigley and then gets the ball into the box. It's a really good ball in, but Henderson can't quite get on the end of it. Superb play by Tyrese on the left hand side. Yeah, good defending so far from Dale. Just yeah. kind of nudged um, Quigley off the ball there. Did, did John just try to chip it over to him? It's too much on it, of course, that occasion, but more of the same from that. And we can keep that front two quiet. The more this game goes on, the more they want to get involved. Sinclair linking it well with Henderson. The ball can't fall to Mitchell, though. Ian Henderson's goal inside the opening 10 minutes. As he uh, poached home from the back post. And Jimmy Key hand cross. And he's what's given Dale the lead in this game. 26 minutes gone. Here on Dale player. In National League Live. Sponsored by Premier Kia Rochdale. Ferguson now. Kia Han. Clayton lifts it forward. Out to Gilmore. On this right hand side, under some pressure. Back to Clayton. But he thinks about hitting it. Instead, he lays it across to East. East goes out to Sinclair. Cameron John makes the underlapping run. Now Sinclair. Certainly so thinking about going for goal. Gets the strike off. Didn't seem too far wide at all. Not a bad effort from Sinclair. At the moment, it's not quite working for them. On this right hand side, back to Clayton again. In space, threats a nice ball through to Gilmore. Can Gilmore pull it back across? He can, but he's headed away well by George Langston. He threads it into Quigley. Quigley leaves it for Clamping. Clamping inside the rocks at 18 yard box, pulls the ball across. Needs to be dealt with. Not fully comes to Jake Taylor, blocked well by Cameron Jones. 
really put his body on the line to block that effort from the EC number eight. He's gone it over those ball goes in from Taylor. For a free kick then from the Dale left. Floated in, up towards Mitchell, who is forcing the save for Donald, but really should have scored. Carlton out, Taylor. Nice one up that right hand side, it's going to be too much on it for Lee Hudson in the end, though. He has gone down, he's able to keep that in play. Probably might have shielded that, you know, but he didn't. And from that, Dale are looking to build for Dean Henderson. Bears down with the adjacent yard box, plays out to Gilmore, a little bit over hit. Gilmore will keep it in play though. Can he work it back? It's Keahan. Keahan can find East, East with space. Cameron John again, the momentum's gone really, and Eastley have got everybody apart from Scott Quigley back to defend. There's a poor ball from Henderson, he'll be disappointed with that. Now Mitchell, Mitchell turns, spins, gets... Oh! Inside the six yard box, a couple of minutes ago. But what a strike that is from Cairo Mitchell to finally get his second goal in Dale Pollard and to double Dale's lead. Rockville 2, Eastley down. And that's what happens when Eastley keep backing off. It allows Mitchell to pick the ball up 25 yards from goal. And it was a superb arrow strike into the top corner. First goal Dale we've seen this season so far. He's played in the EFL quite a few times in various clubs. He only really spends a season at one club and then he's on to the next. <laughs> McCallum. Yeah, it is a strange way to have a career in that respect, especially when there's been clubs and he has some really good tallies at. Here's Ryan East though. Out to the left hand side to find Sinclair. Sinclair in a bit of space. Can he chop back onto his right? He does. Then gets the strike towards the post. Good save from Joe McDonald. Opened up for him again, Sinclair. And another powerful effort. I think he's more. He was aiming for the near post that time, getting more power than accuracy on it, and McDonald to scamper it near his near post to palm it wide for a corner. From that angle, you'd normally see Sinclair going for the far post, just trying to catch the keeper out, but he read it really well. And prevented Sinclair getting on the score sheet. Got plenty of power behind him, didn't he? Uh, three of them on the pitch, along with uh, the one for Rochdale and Anthony Banks Landau. Now Ian Henderson. Space, plays back to East, now out to Sinclair on this left-hand side. Will he have another run at Rutherford? He does, and chops through one side to the other. Good footwork from the Rochdale man. The ball oh. runs through to Cameron John. John tries to knock into Sinclair. Good work from Rutherford, deflects that away. Still in Dale possession, though, still in a promising area. Cameron John. Sinclair. Now East. Forced to go back to Ivan Landell, who in turn goes back to the Rochdale goalkeeper, and that allows Easy to push a clear 30 40 yards further downfield. To, so their back line is just uh, inside their half now. Rochdale will have to start again. Louis Molden's distribution has been so good so far. I mean, he's looking for Sinclair again. The last time he had the ball, just before he picked out Henderson, he was only just under hit. Oh, nearly over the head of Rutherford, who's quite a small right back. Nice. Not under any real pressure, he's able to then pick out Gilmore. Gilmore, can he cut it through for Cairo Mitchell? Mitchell on the shoulder of the last defender. It's the 18 yard box, gets the shot off. Turned away by the goalkeeper, only his father was to be here. And Kiahan with the effort, blocked by him by Gilmore. in the middle, Henderson into the 18-yard box on the left-hand side, the ball takes in place, he comes in, oh, and hits the post from Cameron John. Again, not the place you're expecting to be, but so close to getting a goal there for Dale. Big player left to play through the goalkeeper at goal, but Cameron John, I've never seen him get so far forward in, 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 in the entire Dale career before today. I'll tell you what, I think it was a brilliant save and uh, because it's come off McDonald, I don't know if he knew much about it because it was a snapshot from Cameron John. So he kept in play over on that far side by Barlow. Comes back to Quigley, Quigley turns, won't try and get the shot off, deflection. 
and uh, away. And the 18 yard box this right hand side. It's going to go back in though from Martin. Martin's ball is decent, but nodded away easily by Ethan Ebanks Landell. Nobody in orange shirt was near it. Long journey back as it stands with this scoreline. Roughly on two easy now for those travelling Eastleigh supporters. It's the 239 miles to trudge back down to the south coast tonight. Keehan. To Gilmore. Back to Keehan. Into East who finds Keehan again who goes to the near post. And the offside flag goes up against him Keehan regardless. The free kick will be given. Rewarded, play. With, rewarded with his goal inside 10 minutes, second of the season. Hopefully, many more as well. And then that goal of the season contender from Cairo Mitchell just before the break. That's the difference between these two sides. Rochdale 2, Eastley 0. Aidan Barlow now looking to uh, come away down the Eastley left. And chop on to his right up against Craig Guizero. The uh, United Academy graduate up against the Manchester City Academy graduate. Yeah, and easily a bit of a hash of it. Now to play the ball goes for a throw on the far side. A little bit worried if you're an Eastley fan at this performance. It's been really, really poor. If you think they've had, I'm pretty sure they've had zero shots on target. It might have been one blocks potentially. It's been very, very lackluster from Eastley. But a very good afternoon's work for Rochdale. They run out. Winners by two goals to nil. The goals from Ian Henderson inside the first ten minutes and from Cairo Mitchell with an absolute stunner. One to watch on the Panorama National League highlight show for sure uh, in added time at the end of the first half. Um, for Dale and for Jim and Hulte, two wins from the opening four games and importantly a home win in front of this home crowd. <laughs>